Hello, you beautiful geniuses. I have children right now inside waving and laughing and trying to get my attention and fully loving it. Um, it's constantly playtime with them and I kind of love that about them. So today, what's coming is the explanation of how good it gets to be. So I'm gonna just lay this for you to just vibe on and think about that life is a game i have definitely come to believe that and we are meant to grow and live and experience and feel the full range of the motions we are meant to evolve so just remember like that rubber band being pulled down 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 some lessons are meant to pull us down maybe to the point of exhaustion or breaking or the point of direct depression or helplessness hopelessness fear of everything that we no longer want to experience and sometimes from here I know that it was directly from here, two times coming to mind, maybe three, maybe more, where it's just the most extreme, out of my comfort zone, squeeze in a vice, life burning down, that has led to the giant leaps for me. So sometimes from here, for some of us, this place will be the most epic place to create from, where we really cannot distract ourselves anymore we are forced to take a good look around and within and it is in this exact place this like linchpin i'll call it this finale of a big level where everything changes changes and this can be the frequency in this time of the biggest life changes of success to our life to you see the source you see that we aren't victims you see why we're choosing this you see the greatness and intricacy of the game that led from here to here to here to here to here to here and you had these programs from these ancestors and you completely begin to understand yes this is what I had and I can see that it's not mine. I can see that I came in with this and I had to deal with it over and over and over until I looked at it and I stopped judging it and I stopped attracting it and others. And there's just so many layers of learning in this phase. And so we need to come sometimes to the depths of that like fully stretched rubber band with all the deepest tension to the deepest parts of our shadows where sometimes we have built up anger or rage. Have you ever seen something under pressure? Sure, we've all seen the adverse ex effects of the explosion, but we choose how to use this energy. And if you use these periods to really bring you alive and lean into it and stop denying, distracting, trying to get away from, which is sometimes how we cope. So it is what it is. You, you're, you get here when you're ready to get here. But this pressure, this resistance, this energy, what if we use this for alchemy? What if we took that pressure and transmuted it into greatness to write your story and how you see the world through your experience, through your eyes and your emotions and your lens and reality you choose? This life of yours is your hero's journey. And some of us are just meant to play out these programs in hell at this time in this carnation and to learn that side of it. We signed up for this, we knew and we didn't fear it. And you know that once you've gone through it on the other side, once you went fully into the illusion of fear into the shadows and you came out the other side and you see, you, we realize that we never feared it. We never feared the emotions or the experiences. We realized that we took that deep breath and we stepped back and we steadied our footing and we ran towards it, jumping into the unknown. You feel that about yourself. And now it's time to do the same again with that rubber band snap, propelling us into the unknown of how good it could get, running full speed ahead, just allowing the divine to wash over you because we know now what we're made of and how unlimited we are. And we know that there's really no breaking in this 3D world of where you can hyper-focus and see things from that lens. But once you get up into the mental mental plane and the spiritual planes and you're creating from here, you see it's only an illusion. <laughs> and we know that we can handle any illusion. We know our greatness. You know what you're capable of. And some of us maybe came for this extreme so we can go deep, deep, deep like that rubber band. And with the laws of motion as we let go and the resistance is gone, you better get ready to soar somewhere incredible and realize 
at this point that this is the most epic, incredible, unlimited life catapulting us into the sky. No limits, no resistance, no blockages. Nothing is capable of slowing where you're going or containing where you're going because you are pure energy in motion. The divine, the pure mental knowing moving through you. When we know our spiritual selves, our spiritual bodies, our energy bodies, and we connect with our mental bodies and we reach this level of knowing, it is just game on in this physical world. This physical realm is where you see the results of it all. And when you're creating from there, it gets so good. And we would never change a thing, you know that? Looking back at all the no's, the roadblocks, the deviations, the hardships, the pain, it's all the fueling that pumped that pendulum so far one direction and swung us through experiences that brought us to this moment to the other side. And only we are on the other side of consciousness to really see this. We see the innocence of all these programs that played out and we see the catalyst that built and the resistance that formed like minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, year by year. And we know how badly we wanted it. And we realize that this is what we're meant for. This is what we came to do. This is when we're flying in the other direction. We're pumping that pendulum, swinging it the other way, fearlessly creating the life of our dreams, living in bliss and our highest good, holding this frequency for ourselves and everyone. And we dance and enjoy it more and don't care who's watching. Sometimes we care but we really try hard to melt through that resistance and we laugh and we smile. We have deep, deep appreciation for life. Happy tears come often. Our heart swells. We feel the energy there. We can motivate others around us because we feel motivated. We feel the fire burning within with everything we create and we create a life better than we could have ever previously imagined through our limitations and there's just no fear anymore because there's faith and there's knowing and there's the creation the energy of creation and we create knowing what we're capable of because we've been to the depths and that's life education that we only get here and having transmuted it all the hardship just becomes kindling for this epic path that got started in this fire raging inside that's contained and harnessed and powerful and one with the divine, the power of the divine, the God in us and through us. If you're still being pulled down right now, you're just not done learning. There's nothing to resist here. So something is here for you to learn. Start looking around, start meditating, start asking to be shown what you're meant to learn and keep going and keep growing because you're headed for sunshine. I know it. Keep learning because what happened to me, I know the details are going to be different because every single person, all billions of us have a different world that we're seeing and leaning into when our reality is different, but the energy and the movements and the foundation of it and what's happening and like the blueprint of the outline of it, I know that's the same. This is not something special that happened for me. It won't happen for you. This will happen for you. If you want it, if you're going to lean into the growth and keep questioning and keep reading and keep playing, keep feeling around into it, this gets to be so good for you. Your clues are all in plain sight. There's thought patterns, <laughs> there's patterns of behavior, there's patterns of attracting the same things, there's synchronicities all around you, and it's being reflected to you in your reality. So find it. So take that deep breath and take your time and feel into what you're meant to, what's next for you. You got this. Life gets to be so good. So go enjoy your beautiful day and find what you're meant to find. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being the other side of this conversation and for passing it along when you think of somebody because that is your intuition. It's not an accident. The internet can be a really quiet place and it doesn't have to be. It can be a place for community and a place to gather and we are not alone. So with that, I want to invite you to respond to my offering and share something in the comments to brighten somebody's day, share an epiphany. <clears throat> it will get where it needs to go. And if this video is valuable to you, give it a like so I know what kind of content um, is most enjoyed. And I just hope you have an incredible day.